Hello guys and welcome back to another video of me, that Indian guy. So I want you to make this last video that I make before I go to US a bit different than my usual videos. Today is my first ever Q&A video. So a lot of you follow me on Twitter and keep asking me questions over there all the time. But if you're not, like go ahead, pause this video and follow me on Twitter at that Indian guy 18. So coming to the first question of the day, Muhammad Yusuf Khan on Twitter asks, that Indian guy, I have a TOEFL on Friday. A few tips would be helpful, mainly on the speaking, what I could do on the test day and before. So to answer this question, first of all, go ahead and watch my TOEFL exam tips video. That is one of the most popular videos on my channel. Don't worry, every video mentioned here will be linked in the description below the subscribe button. A few extra tips for TOEFL. Watch a lot of English sitcoms because not only they are like interesting, but trust me, listening to characters speak in American English over and over again will automatically reflect on your speaking skills. The next question is by Kapil Jain, again on Twitter, that Indian guy. I got to know that Weber State University is ranked 77 on the US news and has an acceptance rate of 100%. Isn't it weird? After seeing this question, I went ahead and checked out on the US news website and I realized what mistake Kapil was committing while checking out the rankings. Weber State University is ranked 77 in the region it belongs to and not the entire US. So the lesson to learn here is that do not just blindly rely on rankings. Check out like all the details regarding the, such as re which region does the ranking belong to and on what basis is the university is being ranked on. Coming to the next question again, Kapil Jain on Twitter asks, that Indian guy, should I even consider private universities while preparing university list considering scholarship? C. First to make it clear, yes, private universities are definitely more expensive than public or state universities. But then whether you should apply there or not depends on like if you are getting a scholarship or not. Many times private universities due to the large endowments give out more funding for international students. So check out on the scholarship page of the university and then decide accordingly if you want to apply there or not. The next question is by Abhijit Patel on Twitter. Hey bro, just wanted some information regarding UT Dallas. Cheapest ticket to UT Dallas in January, classes start on 12 Jan. Now I know I'm very late in answering this question, but still for all of you who will be booking their tickets in future, first of all, check out my best student airlines video to find out which airline option you should go for and then go on the Google flight page and check out for the cheapest flight options and book accordingly. There isn't much to say here, but the earlier you book, you will end up saving a lot of money. Next question is by Nandi on Twitter. Do universities consider scanned copies of original mark sheet as unofficial transcripts? Let's make it clear here. Uh, anything apart from a tested mark sheet and sealed envelope from the school or university is considered unofficial by US universities. Make sure you get your transcripts in a sealed envelope from your school or university and not just any folder. The last question for the day is by Sati on Twitter. I'm going to buy a hard disk, trimmer and travel adapter. Which of these should I buy from India? See, first of all, if you want a travel adapter, obviously get it from India itself. Now as for hard disk, it works on USB and not directly on the wall electricity. So get it either from US or India, it does not matter. For the trimmer, get it from the US as Indian trimmers work at like 220 volts. And in most US bathrooms, you're only gonna get 110 volt sockets. So it's better that you buy it from the US. So here we are guys at the end of this video. If you still have any more questions, feel free to shoot them at me on Twitter at that Indian guy 18 and use the hashtag AskTIG. Also, if you enjoy this video, do not forget to like this video as it really helps the channel. Also, subscribe to me on YouTube because I make a lot of amazing videos pertaining to international students in the US and you don't want to miss out on those important videos. Thank you so much for being part of this video. Have a nice day.